people of Earth, the following podcast is not real. There's no magical alternate dimension, and I certainly haven't snuck into that dimension to keep the plot from spinning further out of control, while masquerading as a humble shopkeep behind the counter of Kitty's Bits and Bangles. Now that we've agreed that's not happening, sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Ecamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Nine years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast, well, usually recorded in our new tavern, The Wanderloss, but it's got legs. It's a tavern with legs. It ran off last week, so we've, we're still trying to find the tavern. Oh, honey, honey, quickly, follow me. Yeah. Follow me through this, oh, through, quickly, through these, can't, these trees. Can't, follow me. Can't, Trent, can't follow Trent, me come fast. here. Why yeah, are you yeah, moving yeah, yeah. so fast? Look, look, a bird's nest. Oh, wow, Arnie, the beauty of life. Yeah, I guess. It's a little baby bluebird. How much longer are we going to have to be outside? Well, Arnie, just until we find your shitty tavern. Hmm. Arnie, you feel annoyed at nature. Do you not like being outside? I, I'm not an inside boy. Yeah, the bugs are eating you alive. Have you ever I been know. camping or anything? Look at me. My whole body is outlined by bugs that are actively trying to eat me. There are big bugs around here, too. Yeah, a couple of mosquitoes are having a date on your arm there. Is there a little oh. table, some food, some wine? I think these two are going to make it work. Oh, wink, wink. I see what you're saying. The beauty of nature. <gasps> Arnie! What? You just killed that, that date night. You just killed their date night. I, they, I had them. They went out on a high. It was like, this is so great. And then out. Oh, I also forgot to mention during my intro, I'm not evil. That's good. Uh, That's good to remind people. Oh, wait. Uh, I, I think I see a chimney. Is that it? Is that the Wanderlust? Is, is that the Wanderlust? Arnie, I, I, I just want you to know that I'm doing everything I can to, to track down the Wanderlust. I think we're just going to have to wait till it gets tired, though. And we'll catch up with it. Uh, in the, until then, enjoy the majesty and the beauty of this magical forest. Hello, boys. Whoa! Oh! Ooh. You seem lost. Valencia Montego at your service. How can I help you? Uh, uh, Ms. Montague, uh, we uh, uh, saw a uh, chimney over that uh, that ridge there, and we'd hoped it was our tavern that we have misplaced. Oh, that, no, that's my modest house over there. You're seeking a tavern, you see. Oh, interesting. I, I could possibly help you. I am a seeker of lost things, a oh. finder of desires. I'm a Ooh. tracker of of treasures. Whatever you seek, let me know and I shall find. It's Valencia Montagu. That's what I do. Valencia Montagu? Monta- Montagu? Montagu. Like Montagu. A, 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 icky thing, like a gooey substance. Gooey, is yeah. Valencia Montagu. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, that's, and yeah, you just that's own the icky. You own the ickiness of that. You're like, uh, when you're absolutely. explaining it to like, people, you're like, goo, like gross, goo. like icky. It's, a, it's an icky little thing. Ew, gross. Yeah. I'm here to help, gentlemen. You seem uh, bewildered by the wilderness. <laughs> uh, well, I, I have to be honest with you, Valencia. Uh, while we do seek this tavern, uh, for its windows were open and it started perambulating about, uh, uh, there are many uh, greater desires, secret desires, that perhaps you could assist us with. Chunt, Chunt, what's your secretest desire? Ooh, I mean, uh, ooh, right now? That mosquito couple could continue their date? Absolutely. If that is what you desire, that is what I will seek. Since they are dead, I'll have to bring them back to life. But that oh. is something I could probably do for you if, for the right uh, price. Uh, uh, give us one moment, please. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, is it worth bringing them back? I mean, they already drink blood. It's not like yeah. it's going to get any worse when they're undead, right? Yeah. Well, also, I just have to kill them again. It's counterproductive. Yeah. Why did you have to kill them in the first place? They were on my arm. It was gross. Those are all sorts of gross things living on my arm. You don't hear me complaining about it. But I complain about it. 
uh, Ms. Montagu, we've discussed it, and no thank you, but okay. we would... We would like you to help track down our tavern. A um, tavern you seek, then a tavern is what we shall find. Ah, uh, tell me a little bit about the tavern. Go ahead. I, I need to get inside the mind of the tavern. Mm, Ooh, okay. uh, she's okay. like profiling uh, the tavern. Well, it's called the Wander Lost. Okay, uh, it's gone. That thing is gone. Whoa. Oh. Are you kidding me? It's ah. called the Wander Lost, and you're looking for it? That yeah. thing wanted to get gone. Yeah. Boys. Well, it's a, yeah. It's a tavern. It, Find a new one. What's so special about your tavern? Well, well it's, a lot of our it's stuff cursed. is still in there. It's cursed. It's cursed, and your things are inside. Yeah, yeah, but not in that order. What else? It's it's warm. It's a cool, it's a friendly tavern. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. it's friendly, cursed. It's, it's things ours. Are it it actually belongs to Arnie. He uh, yeah. This is Arnie Neekamp. Uh, he's a I'm traveler from another from, world. From yeah. another world. Uh, yes. I doff my hat to you. A travel from another world. A fantastic. Are oh. you looking for that other world? Because I can find that for you easier than I can oh. find a tavern called the Wander Lost. Come on. Oh boy. Oh, huh. Arnie. Options. Arnie, I I didn't think in the middle of this early season five episode we'd get you home. <laughs> oh this my is, God. Yeah. Definitely a possibility. I mean, yes. Here's the thing, guys. Are you okay with ending the podcast? Well, I I suppose that uh, that Valencia here would become the new host of Hello from the Magic Tavern, and oh, we would fantastic. continue on with the show, and you would just be uh, somewhere else. Hey, okay. don't you want to get home, Arnie? This is your greatest desire, or it's... or has your greatest desire changed? I mean. It's been a long time. Things evolve. People change. Up to you. I mean, we can find the tavern first, then you can make up your mind. I'm here for you. Gentlemen, you found me. I'm here to find something for you. Is it finally time for me to go back to Earth? Arnie, if you go, take us with you, and we can finally... What did you say your dream was? Host, watch what happens next? Yeah. I mean, look, I've never really regularly watched any of the other bravo shows but i mean it, it has your catchphrase in it what's next what at next? the beginning and the end exactly. right exactly also i'd be able to kill two birds with one stone because i would know what was going on to but on those shows by explaining what was going on on those shows you store you store calm down calm down it's just an expression okay he did kill two mosquitoes he's not going to kill two birds where's oh. that where's that nest let's get that nest uh nice and covered by the leaves here keep that nest away from my arm you leave those birds alone Hey, Arnie, leave those birds alone. (laughs) Look, guys, I don't talk about it so much anymore, but at night when I'm sleeping, I have dreams and I live my life on Earth and I do all my family stuff. (laughs) 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 Is that the Uh, best way to explain that? I think so. So in some ways, I'm not super motivated to go home, but maybe I should. And part of me thinks that you guys need me, but... If I'm being honest, this season I've just been fucking up left and right. I got Tom Blaine Belleroth trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's time for me to leave Foon behind. And hey, now that you say it, I've been fucking up left and right this season too. I mean, all the wizards are mad at me. I've made them all mortal. They can all be killed so easily, including myself. And uh, perhaps, perhaps it's time I, I left Foon. Yeah, now that I think about it. I've been fucking up left and right and up and down Mm -hmm. and center this whole season. Arnie, remember when I spilled that sauce on your pants? Yeah. You got so mad. Remember when I pointed out that there was a mosquito couple dating on your arm and you killed them? Yeah, you you made me kill them by pointing it out. I guess I did. Uh, Accessory to murder. Uh, Ms. Montagu. Yes. Gentlemen, I'm here for you. It's Valencia Montagu. Uh... Valenza Montagu, Arnie, tell her. I think I think we've made our decision. Just You'd all Arnie. like to go home. Well, we we all have separate homes. Mm. Hmm. This but is. Uh, we'd be roommates on Earth, right? So you'd each like to go to your separate homes, but where is home? That's a great question. For a long time, we've lived in the tavern. Okay. So <laughs> so we're kind of back to square one. Yeah. Really. This is kind of how this show goes. We've been fucking it up left and right. Wow. I, I, I think what we're saying, though, in the larger sense, if we're saying literally home, mm. yes, a room upstairs at the tavern. We drink until we can't see straight. We stumble upstairs. We fall asleep. We wake up the next morning feeling terrible, thinking we're going to change our ways and just start drinking again. Now, 
maybe what's best is we find the tavern and because uh, I don't want to make any big decision like this unless it's at that very table, right? Well, I would be honored to take you to your tavern so you can make this very yeah. important decision. I'm honored to lead you there <gasps> to track your tavern. Oh, okay. I almost forgot. We didn't. We never asked Wily Potatoes, the rat with a wand inside him. Uh, do you have any ways that you fucked up recently? Oh yeah, uh, I, I can translate since um, I've been a rat before. Um, he said that he's sorry that the other week he left um, with that that woman. Uh, what, what was Germ's wife's name? Mrs. Germ. Mrs. Germ. Yes. Thank you, Artie. See, I fucked up. I couldn't even remember Germ's wife's name. Why are we? Why are we fucking up so much? Uh, Valencia. Sorry, we didn't introduce you before. This is Wiley Potatoes, the rat Hello. with a wand inside him. Uh, obviously, he was the winner of March Magic, uh, a bracket where magic users fought against one another. I'm sure you've heard about all of this. Absolutely. It, it, my travels definitely take me far and wide, and I've heard of the brackets, the rat with a wand inside of him, and all of the things that you're saying, they make a lot of sense. Sure, So thank sure. you. Yes, uh, absolutely. Well, yes, well, sorry to... Wizard, explain it to you then. <laughs> no, I, I thank you. I, I thank you all. I doth my cap to all of you. It's a pleasure to meet every single one of you and the rat. Oh, this now, lady's never met a cap. She hasn't doffed. I love a cap. I love a big cap with a giant feather in it. And that is truly, honestly, one of my, my shortcomings. I will do anything for a giant cap with a giant feather in it that I can just doff at things. Yeah, that, may, that makes a lot of sense because you have a real uh, you have a real jaunty energy. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Absolutely. It's like a some, deliciously jaunty energy. Yeah, big jaunt energy. Oh, absolutely. That's what I bring to the table is a jaunt energy. Now, gentlemen, it's time for this quest to find your tavern. Okay. Now, the thing I need from each of you is a word to describe your tavern. What is Ooh. it? I have to get inside of the tavern's uh, mind. I need to know where it might go. A hmm. coming and going of it. And tavern, would that not count as as, as the, one of the no, words? No, that can't count as the... That's okay. a cheat, is what very, I would call very it. Very literal. That's, and the name of the tavern, the Wander Lost. That's... Is, okay. No. Oh, that's going to be mine. Just okay. a little mm. deeper. Um, oh, I'd say... I mean, I'd say adventurous. It's an adventurous tavern. Yeah, it likes to roam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's happening right now. In fact, yep. So okay. it's wild oats. I, yeah, I legged, would say legged. Like <laughs> it's. I'm just trying to get it in one You're word. Being very it's, literal. It's, yeah. Belegged. Huh. Belegged. Huh. Yeah. Belegged. Legs as an adjective. Okay. Okay. Sure. okay. Yep. A I would belegged. say, I would say Byzantine. <laughs> huh? Because inside it's like a maze in there. You can't you can't tell what's up, what's down. It does walk around on its own, but it's also a mystery on the inside. Mm. Oh, just like a busy teen, yeah. Yeah, like a busy teen. What's that going on inside those busy teens? Ugh, he's going through puberty. Audie. They got everything going on. A lot of annoying. hormones. So raging. annoying. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I mean, well, Valencia Montagu is here to help you, and honestly, I think I know where the tavern might be <gasps> headed. Now. Another word for a tavern could be uh -huh. a watering hole. Hmm. So I would check near the nearest body of water because it might be just watering its hole. Okay. We could just take right off and what? look near a Valencia. large body of water. Yes? Valencia, do you mind? Could you excuse us for just one second? Absolutely. I doff my cap at you, oh, sir. Sorry, do take a, I take don't it. have a cap, but I doff my hand at you. And oh, sorry, sorry about that, Valencia. Arnie, do you need to go water your hole? <laughs> uh, Chunt, Chunt, you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was totally in on, on this woman, but she really lost me with that last part. <laughs> I think the water, the water thing. She, well, her logic. Well, let's walk through her logic. Another name for a tavern is a watering hole. And she can't hear us, right? Because <laughs> let me let's just take be a look. Brutally honest. Oh, wait, where'd she go? I don't see her anywhere. She blended in with I the forest. Know. Wait, no, big, big hat with a feather. Big hat right there. Big yeah, hat with okay, a feather. Yeah, yeah. I am doffing my cap yep, at yep, you from far away. Yeah, we're doffing our hat. Hello? We'll be right we'll be back in a second. We'll be right there. Doc Guys, I'm just saying, I was excited that she was going to be able to help us, but now I'm worried that she's someone that just is fucking up. She's just fucking up. 
I don't think that's fair. We haven't even looked by the biggest body of water. Uh, I don't know what direction it is, but I could fly straight up into the sky and find it real quick. Well, well that might be helpful. Oh, also, Arnie, doing okay. To find the t- <laughs> wow, he shot up like a... I don't know, like what? Yeah. Sean, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay. Why? Do I look sad? No, I'm just catching up. You know, oh. usually... The, the, Usador takes up a lot of emotional space. Yeah. <laughs> It flies up into the sky. Is this a time to catch up a little bit? Yeah, no, sorry. It's just usually when you put your arm on my shoulder like that and squeeze, um, mm-hmm. you say, how you doing, buddy? And I say whatever, and then you go, you look tired. Yeah. Um, I'm doing tired? okay. How are, are you? you? a little tired? I am. I, actually, I'm a little tired. Whoa. Oh, oh, right. Good back. catch up. I, uh, that man a, just fell from the sky. It's a huge body. Of- I dumped my cap at that. It's a huge body of water, about uh, three quarters of a mile northeast of here. Did you? See, do I have to say? Did you see the tavern? Did you see the tavern? Did you see the tavern? Did, the you, see the tavern? did oh. you, you see the tavern? The tavern I did. There? I'll be right back. Huh. I already kind of caught up with you last time. Yeah, this is awkward. Well, let's uh, uh, take a. What we take a break? Let's take yeah. a break. Okay. And we disappear during the breaks, right? We don't exist. Yeah, you really, you should take a nap or something. You look so tired. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. All right, we're back with... Where, where is every Valencia? Valencia? Hello, I've Hi. been in this bush the whole time. Did you not oh. see my big hat with the feather? Oh, I, yeah, sorry. I I seem to have, besides losing the tavern, I seem to have lost Usador and Chunt now. Ah, well, you found me, so I shall help you seek them. It's a fun game. I like to call hide and then go seek them. It's <sighs> I've made it up myself, and so okay. Did what you do name you know? it yourself? I did. Hide and okay. then go seek hide them. Hide and then go seek them. Yes. All right. Let's. Okay. So, so we're wait, looking. I for have to hide, and then go seek them. Yeah, you will hide, and I will go seek them. Okay. The other people that we've lost. I'm really good at hiding. So if if you find them, you might not find me yet. Find me again. Okay. This uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. No skin off my nose. This That's day fair. was just going to be me doing laundry. So. This is a real win for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you come back, I'm not under this bush. You're not going to be under the... I won't check there, then. No. Yeah. Ch- all right. That's not where I'll be hiding. Mm-mm. There's this big hole in the ground. Is that something we should be looking at, or no? Oh. That hole wasn't here before. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Uh, uh, Ar- uh, Arnie, uh, since you sort of went up, I decided to go down, looked around, didn't see the tavern, so nothing down there. <laughs> I have found him. I have done it. Valencia Montagu has found you. Fantastic. Hide and then go seek them. TM. Trademark. So, Chen, you went underground looking for the tavern. That's right. Just, just, I love you, buddy, but you're fucking up. What? I thought, I just thought, you know, if he goes up, I'll go, he goes high, I go low. I've already, I found an underground swamp with these glowing creatures. Wow. Really? Yeah, really. Is that surprising? No, I guess. Valencia, did you know there's an underground swamp with glowing creatures around here? Under us? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Arnie, That's... why are you so surprised at that specific information? You're literally leaning on a punching pine. It's punching you in the side of the head right now. Ouch. Was... Ah, that explains the headache. And Arnie, you had your eyes closed. Were you hiding again? I told you, we can still see you. No. Fucking up. You boys, you just... Good cute little fuck ups, and I enjoy that. Oh, thank you. I think losing our tavern has really gotten us on our heels. Like we, we feel a little bit more confident at a regular table. Just gathered round, lifting a glass together, bending an elbow, lending an ear. Exactly. A warm fire, you know. Uh, uh, access to food and drink. Oh, here comes. Oh, here comes Usador. Ah, uh, well, uh, uh, I, uh, I didn't see the tavern anywhere. I don't know why I didn't fly up into the sky to look for it days ago uh <laughs> but it didn't work anyway damn it i can't uh, believe it oh god oh Valencia, what's wrong <laughs> i'm sorry i don't want you to see me like this 
But I'm just fucking up lately. What? Yeah, I've been, I've been real. I've been fucking up left, right, and center. I've been oh. trying to find things, and I just I can't. It's not something I. It comes easily to me. But this is a family business, and I promised I would join it. The mm-hmm. tracker of treasures, seeker of desires, finder of things. It's just I hate it. I don't. I don't know where anything is. It's a lot I miss of pressure. Everything. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's a lot of pressure when your family demands these things of you. Uh, Valencia, if you could do anything you want, what would it what would it be? No one has ever No one's ever asked me that. Oh. I think I would open a small sandwich shop. Oh, oh, why small? Crush a sandwich right now. Well, a small cuz I don't want the just the job of opening a large one. Just oh. sounds like a lot of work. Oh, the shop to, is small. The shop the is small. The sandwiches are as large as your dreams. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. small dreams. Then it could be a very small uh, a tea sandwich, if you will. That's what Valencia Montagu would like to do, but instead she's, she's here trapped, trying to find oh. things. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. I've, I've lied to you. I've lied to myself. I don't know if I can get you to your tavern. It's and only right. I don't think I can get you home. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, we're all lying to ourselves, and we've all been fucking up lately. It's, yeah. it's just part of being alive. Is making mistakes and learning yeah. from those mistakes and growing. It's not just us. Like the people. Listen, we're recording this, by the way. I what? probably should. Have, I really fucked up by not telling you that from the start. Oh, another fuck. Yeah, I, I already always forget that part. It was my week to remind you. I fucked up. Yeah. Oh, we're recording this and sending it to another world. But if it makes you feel any better. All the people listening to this have probably been fucking up recently, too. Oh, wow. It does, it does make me feel a little better that somebody in another world is really fucking it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listeners. Hey, listeners. You listening right now. Look to your left. Mm-hmm. Now look to your right. One of you just fucked up. Probably a lot of you looked in the wrong directions, for one. That's how you yeah. fucked up. Oh, yeah. Wow. We don't know. A, a broken clock is, is right twice a day, so maybe... Maybe I can help you find your 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 tavern after all. I mean, we can't fuck up all the time, can we? And if we can bind our powers of fucking up, maybe we could come together and find this tavern. Did you say a broken clock is right twice a day? Yes. What if one of the hands is broken off and that's how it's broken? Oh, God, I fucked up again. You fucked it up. This you is fu- really... You fucked up. My clocks that I have in my room are numbered 1 through 24. Like, the, the hands go 1 through 24. Why did you buy that clock? It was... I thought that's how clocks are supposed to look. Arnie, I'm a shapeshifter. I'm usually in the form of, of an animal. I usually go by the sun or the moon, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. That makes a lot of sense to me. Thank you. I think w- what I'm saying is clocks are stupid. Let's... Yeah. We shouldn't be using them. We've anymore. all been thinking it. It's the clock's <laughs> fault. It's the clock's fault we're fucking up. Kill the clocks. Kill time. Yes. Guys, let's oh. kill... Guardy, we have to kill time. <laughs> Quick. We've never done it before on the podcast. We have to kill time. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we've killed a lot of time. You're right. We should we should take action. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's take action. Uh, Valencia, I'm just realizing yes? y- you've dropped hints about having a very interesting and varied life, and I have asked you almost no follow-up questions. I apologize. Yes. I've, really been, I've been really fucking up lately. You said you joined the family business, the, the Montagu business? Yes. Adventurers, seekers, treasure hunters, finders, heist makers. Ooh. Yes. We, you it's, fr- it's a swashbuckling, exciting business. So you come from a long line of uh, adventurous goos. Exactly. Uh, the stories these goos could tell you. Uh, mm. Finding treasures. Wait, your father is an Adrian Montagu, is he? That's my papa. Oh yes, I've heard. I've heard of the great uh, tracker Adrian Montagu, uh, quite well renowned in Foon. Arnie, have you have you heard of Adrian Montagu? I don't think so. Well, Valencia, I have to ask, where has this Montagu gone? Oh, that is a story of woe. We haven't seen him in in about twenty three years. He, oh. he was seeking a treasure in the the depths of a volcano, huh. and he oh, never. No. He, <laughs> I he think said, I, know what I, could, I could beat I could beat the volcano and I said, uh-huh. Daddy, please don't go. And he said, huh? I'm a Montagu, I have to go. 
and he, he went into that volcano and he hasn't been back since. I'm, mm-hmm. I still pray every day oh, that no. he will come, but you know, let's be realistic. He's dead. He's inside yeah. of, he's inside of a well, volcano. Sounds like he fucked I up. I mean, we have to presume he's dead. He's it's, presumed it's, dead, yes. It's likely he's dead. Now, yeah. Ani, the thing is, this was a tale told all over food. Uh, Adrian Montagu is the greatest at finding all sorts of, uh, whether it be a knick-knack or a mystical sword, uh, from A to Z, uh, soup to nuts, whatever you wanted to find, he could find it. Mm-hmm. And one day, the king, King Albane Belroth, was walking along the edge of the volcano, and he, he dropped his crown in there. That's right. Mm. And he's like, Adrian Montagu, will you find my crown? Everyone kind of suspected he did it on purpose. It seemed mm. like foul play, but Papa wasn't one for that. It, he didn't. He didn't think it was going to be that bad. And he, you know, Montagu is always a little, uh, a little full of themselves. Thought they could sure. Uh, do it. And... Sure, but why is a king walking on the edge of a volcano? I, what the hell was yes. he even doing? Mm-hmm. He's edging. <laughs> Maybe was he he's an edging. Ed- was he an edge lord? An edge king? How dare I'm you? I'm so king. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You said you said king. To- oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, foul play was always suspected, and ever since then, Papa has, has not been with us. He's been likely dead inside of a volcano, but legend of him coming back has has traveled far and wide, and I, I hope one day I see him. Many say he's biding his time. Yes. In the volcano. Yeah, yeah he's but... going to explode out of the volcano and save I, us all. Probably he burned up. Like I mean, him. that's yeah. the most likely thing. Big, yeah. big, big, big chance. Is your Absolutely. dad burned up? Some Absolutely. say he's, he's biting his time. If I had to put a number on it, go on. I'd say he's like seventy-five percent chance he burned up. Absolutely. Seventy. That's that low. That's actually that lower low. than I was going to. Yeah, be. I don't know math, and that seems wrong. Twenty-five percent. Twenty percent. He's biting his time. Five huh. percent. He jumped into that volcano, and a mystical portal opened up, and he found himself transported to another world. Five yeah. percent. That. Yeah. And I'm saying that as someone who fell through a dimensional portal. Well, that's why I keep telling you to jump into a volcano. Try it. Do it. Try it. There's only 75% chance you'll burn up. Valencia, we've talked about your papa a bunch, but would you you tell us a little bit about your mama goo? Oh, mama goo. You should have seen her in her day. Now, she could literally steal anything from anyone at any time, and you would never know until it was too late. She she once literally went into a store, and you know you know how they have the take a coin leave a coin thing. Yeah, she took oh, yeah. all those coins. She just uh, took them. Oh, yeah. smart! What? The just perfect right crime out from under. Just the crime of the century. There, wow. absolutely baffled people. My mother, uh, Mama Goo, absolutely right. How you named that? Oh, she <laughs> she was uh, oh gosh. Once she went into a, a museum. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of museums? Oh, They're yeah. amazing. She went to a museum. Uh, she she saw a piece of art she wanted. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing: instead of stealing that piece of art, she just redrew it. So she actually just took the the she took basically an idea. She stole oh, an idea and the then she passed crime. it off as her own. Ani, this is like that thing aren't you told us about on your world, intellectual property. Yeah. Ah, that's a great way to say. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Arnie, you said uh, mind of Mencia. <laughs> was a perfect example of that. Mm-hmm. Does that oh, yeah. does that help us here at all? I think so. Yeah. Does it, it help? Who got the merch? Who got the merch rights? Of of the art? Of the art, yeah. Who got the merch rights for the art? Oh, it, we. I mean, I know that we sold a lot of shirts uh, with it. Well. Absolutely, mm-hmm. a ton of shirts. Uh, and Valencia, I can't help but notice um, uh, tucked in the forest back there. I do see a sign that says Guzium. Is that is that your family Guzium? The that family Goo f- Museum. Mm. That is, it's the it's the Montague Museum. Absolutely, oh. uh, we it's where a lot of art that my family has stolen over the years, uh, mm-hmm. intellectual property, as you say, is mm-hmm. is tucked away in that museum. I could I, I could take you through it if you if you so desire. Oh, uh, that would be wonderful. I, uh, why don't we head that way, uh, Valencia? I have to yes? say, you come from a long line of, of finders and takers. Yes. I think it's okay for you to find your own path. If you want to open a small sandwich shop, I'd be willing to give you upwards of 30 pieces of gold to get that started. Wow. Yeah, same. Uh, For you to track your own dream, as it were, I would uh, happily fund that for some back-end profits, of course. 
I'm going to pass, but I think you'll get more than enough help from these two. Very well, let us take a quick break as we walk over to the Guzium. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. Ooh, there's uh, sort of a piece of wood blocking the way here. Um, tickets, 10 gold. Huh. Um, oh, Valencia, do we need tickets or? Yes, everyone needs a ticket. Uh, yes, it's... <laughs> It's part of the, the finder's taker's rules. We have to take something from you for you to seek. Of course. Museum. I'm not sure if you're related to Robin Goo. Um, he stole from the rich and stole from the poor. Oh, that's Uncle Robin. Yes, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, I, if, if there's any of his artifacts in here, I'd gladly... Let me... Uh, here you go. Here's uh, 10 gold. Thank you. Okay. Can I be honest? This I'm not a big fan hat. of Robin Goo. It, it just, with him, too many blurred lines. <laughs> Uncle Uncle Robin had a had a problematic past. <laughs> <laughs> now now I have ten gold and gladly pay pay for this ticket. But I already have a number of other tickets from other things that I've bought in the past. Do you accept tickets from other events? Absolutely, I'll add them to the museum. Here you go. Uh, oh, okay. oh, and we kind of guys, we kind of fucked up. Arnie, will you take note that we should just go ahead and splurge for the year long food pass? That gets us into every museum, every museum. All the natural wonders, um, a lot of uh, a lot of sort of uh, royal halls, um, gets us into magical forests. It's really Arnie. worth it. Arnie, Arnie, Arnie please. can we have Arnie. a year to pass? Can we have a year to pass, Arnie. please? Uh, Arnie. Sure. See, yeah. even Valencia says. It's so worth it. Here's the thing. I will foot the bill for that pass, but I'm not going to, I just don't want to be constantly having to take you guys to those things. Well, then how are we going to get there? How would you, we you're get grown ups? You can get there yourselves. But what if I'm scared and I need someone's hand to hold? I don't want to go by myself. I'll look like a fool and all my friends will laugh at me. I've seen that happen. It's true. People would laugh if he went alone. That's true. Arnie, you gotta go, Arnie. Arnie, you gotta go. On. Arnie, please, please. Uh, please. I'm his friend please. and I'd laugh uh. at him, so yeah. Okay, fine. Yay! Oh. Hooray! Hooray! We did it! And Valencia, you sell, um, looks like we have to go back out uh, into the gift store, which we entered through. Uh, you sell those Foon Passes here? Absolutely. We, we sell Foon Passes and so many t-shirts. So many t-shirts. It's not as profitable as you'd think. No. Oh, Arnie, please, can I get this one? My dad's 98% dead? 98%, yes. that seems high. I guess so. This was before I knew that you, you thought he was 75% oh, wow. dead. Yeah. 98%, that's... I was well just put it, up a tombstone. Never! That 2% is what we live by here. I think this shirt looks amazing on you. Oh, thank you. Arnie, they say in life you die three times. The moment you die, the last time someone says your name, and the first time someone makes a t-shirt saying that person's definitely dead. Mm -hmm. So by wearing this, I'm keeping his chances alive, that 2%. Absolutely. Also, your dad is a ghost, so it's really appropriate for you. Oh yeah, so I guess you don't die three times. Hmm. Oh, Arnie, can I have this shirt that says, Goo Get It? Can, can you look around a little more? There's got to be better I like this that. one, though. It I says, like that one, too. I want one, too. Goo it Get says, It. says, Goo Get It. Goo, goo get, get It. Goo Get It? Get That's it. a good t-shirt. Arnie, put that shirt down that says, Goo versus the Volcano. That's nothing. That makes no sense. I don't know. I kind of like it. No, put it down. You fucked up. Let's all get Goo Get It shirts. Yeah, matching Goo Get It shirts. For my little goo boys. Come Arnie, on. Please. Oh, the little goo. <gasps> the little goo boys. Where's the little goo boys? Oh, where are the goo boys? I think I'm going to get this shirt that says Teen Wolf Goo. Got <laughs> yeah, I was in a weird place when I made that shirt. But yeah, I, I think it's cute. I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. For sure. It sort of looks like Jason Bateman on here. But mm -hmm. I do not know who that is. Oh, I know who uh, a Jason Bateman is. He... he he works down at the tackle shop in, near the fishery. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Bateman. Oh, Jason Bateman. I know him. Mm -hmm. Get your worms and your crawdads and all that sort of thing. Lures, for Frozen sure. Frozen mice, yeah. Well, yeah, why don't we think on the merch? Um, we'll definitely, uh, you sir, we're definitely going to get some Goo Get It shirts. Um, yeah. But let's, uh, yeah, let's go back into the museum. For sure. Oh, over here. You're going to love this. And the gate's closed. It says ticket needed, but I, you saw it. The ticket was to get you into the gift shop. Oh. Now you need a ticket to get into the Guzim proper. Okay. Here, here. I, I, I've got, uh, I can cover this one. Uh, okay. Here's 30 gold. That gets all three of us Fantastic. In. All right. Now, we're, okay. Oh, look at this. This is a fun part. This is a really fun part. It's all of the, the 
the music that my family has stolen over over the centuries. Mm. Oh. Yes. Oh. You could put on these headphones right here oh. and and listen to each of the songs that some some other artist has sung, but we we have, as Montagues have stolen. It is just it's delightful. Arnie, and, these are this is very similar to the uh, headphones that you brought from your world. Just take these two shells. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And put a shell on either side of your head and listen to the music. Just kind of like the ocean. For a second. Just listen to them. Sounds like the Beatles. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we're oh, not going to get that. Ernie, you got something. There's a bug in here. Oh, oh gosh. You- this is embarrassing. I should have cleaned those. That's that's on me. Arnie, you've killed three bugs in this episode. Yeah, what is your really, deal? You've really got it out for the bugs today. I just, they were on me. Yeah, well, they have to be somewhere, don't they? Not exactly. on me. Foon's never killed you for being on it. Think yeah, about that. Technically, it ha- I have been killed. Okay, fair okay, enough. Okay, Artie, packed. If you hit one more bug, we get Goo Get It t-shirts. You hit it, Goo Get It. Does that make sense? Do- does yeah. it? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Chunk, that I'm made more sense you. than anything I've ever heard on this podcast ask, in my life. You said <laughs> you're not part of this. Chunk, I'm going to ask you. I want you to give a I search tired? in your uh-huh. heart. And if the answer is yes, I will get you that shirt. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Got it. Something was permanently broken here today. <laughs> oh, what's this? Wow. What is, oh, it's a beautiful oh. uh, portrait. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now, th- this is actually a picture of my eldest sister, Evelyn oh. Montague. Mm. Wow. Yes. Now, she, she is most famous for stealing hearts. Oh, that's just sweet. Oh. Oh. That's just nice. This yeah. picture, oh. she's holding a human heart. And there's That's blood what I said. She's arm. stealing hearts. They oh. directly from the the chests of men who have wronged her. Hmm. Oh. oh, does that happen a lot? She, the, do you want to see the heart room? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, right through these doors over here. It is just tip to tail, just with. Oh. Can I? Can I just say the heart-shaped doors are really nice stuff. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a nice piece of architecture. Yeah. I like that. They, you did you, that? Yes, I whittled them. You wow. whittled those doors. Yes. You I'm sat time. a lot. Now you sat on. I want to understand this. You sat Please. on a porch with like a pocket knife and just scraped those out of a piece of wood. That's incredible. There's That's exactly be a what I did. I have a lot of time. I'm not the best Montagu, so I, mm. I'm basically here to keep the museum going. And dream about those sandwiches. Wait a minute. The, uh, guys, look. A, a closer inspection. On the door, there's a T carved into it with a circle around the T. Did oh, you carve that T there? Did you carve that T there, Valencia? Yes. Oh, okay. Is Seems it, like the mark of a tradesman, maybe. Tra- is it a trademark? This, this door is trademarked? That's right. I'm a tradeswoman, after all. Well, you're very multi-talented. I don't think you should be so hard on yourself. And, oh. And, and, you're doing an excellent job of running this this outstanding museum. Thank and, you. And, and, and honestly, watch out for the hearts. They are everywhere in this room. Just yeah. you are Ooh, going gee, to step in. Yeah. It, it smells There's, terrible. A lot yes. of them are just on the floor. This I room didn't know where be, to put them. Yeah. Just overflowing, really. Just sloppy this, in this here. This many men wronged her, your sister. She, that's what she says, and you've right. got to believe her. Did she ever give examples of like what wrongs these oh, were? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like one guy, uh, this you're not even going to believe this. One guy just look, was looking at her weird. Mm. Oh. The men, men, am I right? Men. One guy, she was in line for something and he said, "Excuse me, can I can I go first because I, I have I have to get out I have to get out of here fast." Ugh. And she said, "Nope." <laughs> absolutely. Not. God, I would have loved to know more about that guy. <laughs> He was late for something. Times. I don't know that she didn't so. give many details. She just cut his heart out immediately at that mm-hmm. moment. Yeah, one guy. This is off. This is. I can't believe she. I mean, didn't do worse to him. One guy. Uh, she was married to him. Just took a took a little piece of uh, potato off a plate once and ate it. Oh no! You mm-hmm. never. You offer. You offer. That's wow. right. Lot, uh, there's a lot of wrong. Here, this right here. This is by the wall. This is the biggest heart I've ever seen. Oh yes, that that actually was a troll's heart, oh. a ma- of a man troll, a, a male troll. troll, obviously. Uh, and he was, you know, she was, 
she was doing stuff and he was just kind of like yelling weird things at her mm -hmm. uh, constantly. And, and she was just like, no, not today. Yeah. No trolls. And she just killed him. I, I, think my fav I think my favorite part about the big troll heart is that it ironically has hashtag not all trolls carved into it. Yeah. yeah, she was feeling she was feeling a little goofy that day. It's it's that big jaunty energy. The whole family must have. The it. whole family. Oh, you should yeah. see us at, at, at a family picnic. Ugh. I'd love to see that. Oh, and uh, speaking of uh, picnic, it looks like there's a smell coming from this room over here. Yes, Arnie, it looks like there's a smell oh, coming, and it says I this was is thinking the thinking it, but I didn't this, say it. it. Says this is the Valencia wing. Oh, that's not ready. That's I'm embarrassed no. you even found it. I, I don't want. Don't look in there. It's oh. my. It's oh uh, god. It's, it smells so good. No, Valencia. No, we're all works in progress. It's okay. God. Okay. I, I just have to unlock it. I have a lot of keys. So hold on. I gotta get through these real quick. Okay. That's that's so fun. This is really good. All right. Here. This is the Valencia wing. The, from the number of keys you have yes. to how fast you found the right key, I am wildly impressed. You truly really are a tracker. You're truly a tracker. Wait, hold on. Be honest. Are those all the same key? Do you just have like a hundred copies of the same key? I, I, I'm holding them for my family. I haven't seen you unlock any other doors. I, that, you don't lock doors in a museum. If you if you lock, they, then people can't can't get in and see them. Mm -hmm. But you know, the the Montagu family has a lot of treasures we got to keep secret. Uh, so Ooh, there like are a couple of keys. I've got a I've got a, a little cave with a lock on it somewhere. Mm. I'm not going to tell you where. Don't don't mm. try. What sort of secret treasures? That's I mean, the museum is great. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. Go get it, girl. Secret treasures. But uh, I'd love to know about some of those secret treasures. Anything like mystical or powerful, or something you could destroy your enemies, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. All of that, yep. Mm. Oh, We've got mystical, that. powerful, destroyed enemy, mm. immediate uh, sight for those uh, who who are blind. Uh, oh. we, uh, there's one, there's a great one that could uh, hop dimensions and open portals. That's a fun oh. one. Artie, quick, give me the bag with the uh, food passes in it. The yearly annual uh, food yeah. passes. Quick, quick, yeah. quick. quick. Yeah. Uh, do these get us in, Valencia? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. That's a VIP. That's a special. Oh, wow. sorry. <laughs> Worth so a sorry. shot. Worth a shot. No. Anyway, did you want to get into this uh, Valencia room? Or yeah, let's go over there. Okay, yeah, good, we'll good, good, good. secret stuff later. For, so, for certain. Um, so, okay, this is embarrassing, but this is where I do my sandwich art. I kind of call myself a sandwich oh, artist. Wow. Yes. Yeah. The smell is, is, is delightful. Uh, where, where do you source your bread, or do you make it yourself? I make it myself. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for asking. Oh. I, I, make, I bake it uh, fresh daily. My family is absolutely embarrassed of me. Yeah. This Valencia, isn't. Valencia, you, sh you, you shouldn't have let us in here. And I apologize for talking you into letting us in. This, this room wasn't, isn't ready. This room's Arnie, not no, ready. No, Arnie. Ready, I'm sorry. It's no, he's me. right. I'm the one that fucked up. I'm fucking up. No, he's right. I shouldn't have showed you this. This, this is just bread, well, cheese, meat. Oh my, my stomach. Oh, uh, Valencia, you, for, for a lot of these sandwiches, like you missed the bread. Like there's just, there's like meat next to the bread. Like it's that's- deconstructed. Is, is it though? I really think about it, Ani. I think about what you expect of a sandwich and then maybe your expectations are, are upturned when you see meat next to two pieces of bread and you go, oh, it's, I guess it's still a sandwich. Hmm. Yeah, you're really talking sure. about it. That's that's what's most important. Right, about exactly. Art. You're talking about it. Also, this is a museum. It's perfectly normal to have a place to eat in a museum. I don't know why your family's so pissed off about this. this, is, this they, they're not proud of these sandwiches either. Arnie's right. Mm. Do, well, do any of the sandwiches have meat on them, or is it always side by side? Oh, Some, some sandwiches have meat on them, but then the bread um, isn't true bread. It's I, I, There's this one over here. I've used... Uh, Two two squirrels. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you? Here's some meat between two shoes. Yeah, that's fun. That's a walking around sandwich. Uh, Valencia, would you mind? I don't know if this is rude to ask. Would you mind making me a sandwich? Oh my goddesses! I, I'd, I'd be honored. Uh, what would what would you like on your sandwich? Oh okay. Um. Oh, this is exciting. Um. Well, let's start with um. Oh, let's start with uh bread. Not squirrels. Yeah. Bread. Oh, real bread. Okay, yep. Oh, yeah. bread. Here we go. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, and then uh, mustard. 
Moosted. Oh, mm -hmm. fantastic. I actually, I have a, a moosted guy. This is going to be fun. Perfect. Okay. I just go. got to ask. I just got to ask. Is that moose turds? Is that what moose turd is? Arnie, grow up. Uh, grow sorry, up. a little more. Okay. Sorry, just a little bit more. Yep, over here. And just really, just until I say. Yeah, no, no, no. Yep, and got him a little more. There we go. Okay. To, answer your, to answer your question, though, Arnie, yes, it is. Fresh. And, uh, that's, too and that's it. That's too much moose turds. And then just cut it in half. Cut it in half, right? The, just just meat and mustard and bread. Oh, there's meat on it? I actually did not put meat on this. It's just mustard and bread. This is bread and turds, man. Is Arnie, that all you wanted on the sandwich? I, I guess Arnie, he, this room sucks. Arnie, he's a badger. Just let him eat it. Okay, I guess so. I'm just... <laughs> you start. I'm trying to discourage him from eating shit. Rally right? Up. Uh, what's he going to do? Because sometimes he licks our faces. Diego? Arnie, I had her cut it in half. No. Sandwich boys. No, the sandwich nah. boys are back. What's Let behind this what giant do, do curtain want? over here? What's behind this giant curtain? <gasps> Valencia. What the fuck? The Wanderlust. Uh -oh. You stole the Wanderlust? Dang. Or, or lured it, I guess. I kind of lured it here with sandwiches. I was trying to, you know, strike up a deal with the Wanderlust to sell my, my delicious... Deconstructed sandwiches. Valencia, I'm, I'm sorry. I just have to say, you're full of shit. That, that is awful. I'm so sorry. I <sighs> fucked up again. I mean, you, you. I don't think you can make a deal directly with the tavern. Arnie yeah. actually owns and operates the tavern. You'd have to make a deal with him. Yeah. Well, and I we didn't... already have enough of a problem with feces in our food. We're trying to correct that. So please, listeners, anybody that's thinking of coming to the Wanderlust. We're putting an honest effort into having there be less feces in our food. Mistakes were made, but we're getting past it. After the sandwich. After, after this one. Yeah, after that after one. sandwich. I'm sorry, boys. I, I wanted to find something for you. I wanted, I wanted to finally do something, so I stole what you were looking for in the first place, mm -hmm. hid it inside the museum, then kind of sure. forgot that I did it, honestly. Yeah. I, yeah. I just kind of got crime. caught up. That explains why the door was locked. Uh, honestly, yeah, Valencia... That explains why you, brought, you walked us straight up to where it was. Yeah, yeah, but I got you to buy those passes. True. Yeah, honestly, Damn. you're a great... You're a great salesperson. Mm -hmm. You should open that sandwich shop. You know, looking back, when I flew up into the sky, I saw the museum, and I said, that one wing in the museum is shaped a lot like the Wanderlust, mm -hmm. and it's very big. I was like, that's, that's not it, though. No, it couldn't be it. Well, we can't say mad at you. Valencia, do you want to come in our tavern and have a drink? Oh, I would I would honestly love to. That would be wonderful. All Thank right. you. All right. Okay. I doff my cap to you. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's still a lot of people in here. Still a lot of people in the tavern. Ooh, Who everything's wants a kinda... sandwich? Ooh, I uh, do. Valencia, now that you're in our tavern, do you want one of our t-shirts that says, uh, less shit in the food? Oh, I would. I would actually love that. I'm gonna, I would love to wear that right now. I'll trade you for a go get it shirt. Two two go get it's two go get it's two go get it shirts. Oh, two. you you I couldn't say no to you guys if I tried. Here you go. <laughs> we did it. Woo, two goos. <laughs> well, Valencia, before we have our tavern break its way out of your museum, uh, do you mind if we answer an email? Oh, I would absolutely love that. Yes, please. You can email us at magic tavern at puppies.supplies. It's a real email address. Or you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash magic tavern and message us there. Uh, here's a recent message we got. Dear Mysterious Man, you are the best part of the show. I love you, man. Regards, Brendan. PPS, Arnie is bad. Oh, I was going to say, why are they calling Arnie a mysterious man? But then yeah. at the end, they called you out specifically. Not even a PS before the PPS? I feel like this has come up before, some reference to a mysterious man. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're all mysterious, I guess. Uh, oh, the chunt way. is not oh, a man. I'm not a man. I'm a shapeshifter. I Maybe, I think I, oh my gosh, Valencia, I don't want to yes. cause false hope. Could, could <gasps> the mysterious man be, I want to say, Arthur? Papa? Adrian? Oh, Adrian. Could it be Adrian Montagu? Oh. <sighs> This is this is the, exactly what I was waiting for. News of my father. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna shift those percentages to seventy three percent. Time to print new shirts. I gotta print new shirts. Oh my gosh, printing costs—they are not cheap. So we are gonna sell out these shirts on a discount. Uh, all I have to say about this email is, Brendan, you're fucking up. Don't do a PPS if you don't do a PS. 
And that's this is the year to fuck up. Let's just yeah. right. This is the fuck up year. Email whoa, us at magic tavern whoa, hold at pup. Hold on, hold on. This is not the year to fuck up. Oh, let's right, get it right the, this year. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's right. This you can die. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Uh, we're gonna try to be do better and stop fucking up. But we have a lot of empathy for people who are fucking up. So listeners, if you're fucking up in one way or another, related to the podcast or just otherwise, email us at magic tavern at puppies dot supplies and let us know what you've been fucking up. And you source there's some sort of compromise. Maybe we could, or maybe Valencia could sell it. Maybe we make cards that like a punch card where it's like you get ten fuck ups, and then after that you're done. If you get year. ten fuck ups, you get a free sandwich at Valencia <laughs> oh. Sandwiches. Oh, oh. Uh, worth pretty it. Pretty much. That seems fair. Also, I, I was gonna say, you know, uh, sure. If you get ten fuck ups, you get a free sandwich. If you fuck up, maybe think about stopping. Think about stopping and doing something else. Maybe pivot. Mm. Maybe stop fucking up. Arnie, he doesn't mean that. Don't stop the podcast. John, we're not going to stop the podcast anytime soon. Don't you worry. Oh, I accidentally leaned on the stop button, though. Wait, we're not recording anymore? Uh... Oh, wait, it wasn't the stop button. What button is that? Well, I've done a lot of encouraging people to steer clear of the central content of this program, but today we have witnessed one of the most riveting moments in audio recording history. Brendan, sweet, gentle Brendan, I knew you were out there, and I've been doing this all for you. Don't you change a thing, you brave, beautiful, faceless audience member. But now, who was making all that distracting background noise between the bookends? Well, Use It or the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Valencia Montagu was played by AI trying to do a Liza accent? That's not right. Oh wait, played by special guest Carissa Barreca. Carissa is a director of the national touring company at Second City, where the nation's hottest upcoming comedy talent are offered a chance to sleep in every Econo Lodge in Missouri. Carissa is also artistic director of Matter Dance Company. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Nick Sladek, Sadoxis, my favorite hybrid between Ted Lasso and one of the vulture fops from Dark Crystal, Donovan Pfeiffer, Angela Crawford, Ian Rasmussen, The One Josh, sorry Gondelman, this seat already taken, Cody, Kate M, Patricia D, Ian Morrison, Samantha Sostarich, Ricky Ann, Sarah O, Jacob B, Legion and Dig, Sean QB, Jackam Noor, Brewster, parentheses, a border collie. Brewster, you're still listening to this? Bad dog. Johnny, Garrett, and Lindsay Barch. Or Barche. You didn't Barche. Patrons get a lingering sense of buyer's remorse. Also, ad-free episodes, the entire back catalog, including all the previous spin-offs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. You still have time to read Pippi Longstocking before the book club episode on Patreon later this week. To learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adel Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Haverman. This episode edited by Stefan Dranger. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. Brendan, good night and good luck. <laughs>